tariff battle with China having an impact right here in Michigan. China slapped new tariffs on many items, including soybeans, which is a big product, of course, here at home. Paula Tutman spent the day talking to farmers in Columbus Township in St. Clair County. One of the farmers I talked to literally has a half a million dollars buried in the ground right now, and he needs to get at least $600,000 out in October to pay his bills, pay his taxes, repairs, put food on his family's table. But he can't do that if the price of soy keeps dropping. Columbus, Michigan, a few miles west of Marysville, and we meet four farmers feeding the state feeding the nation, feeding the world. My name is John Ryan. I've been farming with my family for about 35 years. My name is John Boozman. I've been a soybean farmer for 40 years. My name is Jim Domogowski, and I've been farming soybeans and other crops for over 50 years. My name is Dave Ronsky, and I've been farming for 60 years. In these parts, soy is gold. I like the color. It just looks, green just seems like it's life. It's what puts food on the table and pays the bills. In this state, soy to agriculture is what cars are to Michigan manufacturing. Soy is the number one agricultural export. A farmer walks a narrow tightrope every year. Weather, insects, yield. But this year, there's a new stressor, talks of tariffs. It's making people really nervous. Okay. Because it's, we making, it's, it's making speculators very nervous. It's speculators. But that affects you. Yes. It affects the market. And while the White House has only talked about tariffs and not yet levied them, it's just the talk right now that's already taken a toll. Last month, soy was $10 a bushel. Today, it's only 8 When he started talking about the tariffs, uh, uh, it was such a high uh, average or a high portion. In the long run, it's going to affect our prices. The speculators are, are betting. They're betting that all of a sudden China's not going to buy the beans or they're going to try to buy less of them or something like that. Every one of these farmers says that there does need to be a more level playing field when it comes to agricultural commodities and our dealings with other nations. But it's the way these tariffs are being bandied about that farms out an immediate hurt. If we make 1% to 2% on what we're putting in, we're considered uh, lucky. And when you're operating on a 1% or 2% margin, there's not a lot of wiggle room. We have input costs that we have to pay, uh, rent, uh, property tax. All of our expenses come due at certain times of the year. And if we have to pay our, our bills by the, by the price we have today, that's going to make things really tight. Uh, I'm in so much debt right now that if I lose money this year, the banks will take over and I'm done. You know, where there's an action, there is a reaction. And this is a very delicate economic seesaw. And so, for instance, while you might not see prices at the grocery store plummet, like you would see them go up, for instance, if the price of soy went up, while you might not see the grocery prices change, what you might see is generations of families going under who have been feeding our families if this seesaw doesn't right itself. Reporting from Columbus Township, Michigan, Paula Tutman, Local 4.